it's not this is not a big change here so I think this is going to be a fairly mild cut I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to just cut on the tip of this lamb right here just cut that edge off okay blow it off the buster It sounds pretty decent. It's not perfect. I want to make sure it's well oiled here. It sounds pretty good, and then it gets unstable, so it's not quite there. But I've I've cut so much material off at this point. I'm going to go back and and check the static balance using this guy so basically to do that you go back to square one here so I'm going to clean off all the oil and gook off the off the shafts wipe down the balancer and make sure that's clean demagnetize Set my mule chassis far, far away because it's got magnets in it. And then I'm going to blow this off with the gas. And maybe I'll put this thing so you can see it. Seems like it wants to swing a little, but it's not really. There it is. There's a little swing. It's a little swing. Yep. I'm gonna demag this thing to a little bit better. Just make sure I got this thing as good as I can. to swing a little bit not a heck of a lot but anyway that's the that's the metal side that's heavy where I was cutting on the metal so I'll just cut a little more metal off here I'm gonna get it off screen so I can do it real quick Seems like it wants to lope a little bit still. It's it's not really swinging much, but just some residual magnetism. Right after you run it, it really hangs onto that magnetism. Even the magnetizer doesn't get it all out, so it doesn't want to swing maybe as easy as it could. It's probably all right. Okay, so uh, that's, oh, there's a little bit of burr on there. I'm gonna clean that off. Once again, try not to destroy the arm as you're, as you're cutting on it. Okay. Back we go. So it's static balance pretty good.
That is pretty smooth. That's pretty smooth. I don't know if I can do it a heck of a lot better than that. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back on, though, and see if I can find a, a good spot where maybe it would take just a little more off. Get my trusty toothpick here. Okay, that's lining up with where it was cutting. It sounded pretty good. So that might be telling me I may, I may have overcorrected just a little. We'll see. Still smooth. Still smooth. A little less smooth. Well, getting a little rougher. Looks like I overcorrected a little. I hate it when I do that. Okay, now I'm. Yep, it's that's opposite. It's pretty rough there, so it looks like I overcorrected. I have to. Take the old walk of shame and uh, do it two ways. I can put the weight back on if I want to, and I can get some glue and some weight out. There's probably just some glue, but we're in a hurry here, so I'll just probably do some cutting. Try to find the best sweet spot. Getting a little better. That's pretty smooth right there. Almost lined up with that cut pole. That's not quite as good right there. That sounds pretty good right there, though. Hmm. Getting a little rougher. As you can see, this is kind of a lengthy process. There's a lot of good spots on this side of the arm. It's, uh, that usually means that it's pretty close to being good. Trying to get rough again. Okay, so it looks like it's good from, no, not quite there. It's good again. It's good from there, which kind of lines up with the center of the cut pole over to maybe about here. So I'm going to go on the cut pole, kind of going towards the edge of the cut pole is where I'm going to be cutting. I'm sorry, underneath I'm going to cut that. So it's sort of overcorrected things. So what I need to do is that's the cut pole. So what I need to do is cut underneath it because I cut too much off. Cut a little under here and then maybe go over here on this little tip and cut a little off of that. Just, it ain't much. It's a, this is a pretty, pretty minor change here. It's going to be just a little bit. So I'll cut a little of that com off at the bottom. Just shave off a little. just a touch and then come over here and just take the corner of this off just a little bit it might be enough so I'd, all I did is take a little corner tick off of that thing and a little bit off the com and a little bit off this tab on the bottom right opposite so um, I'll try that out that was a pretty minor change. It's very little weight. Oops, forgot to put a little oil in it.
All right, that one's pretty smooth. What I'm going to do, I'm, not, I'm going to turn off the video here, but what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put it on the static balance here and just make sure everything's right. Um, and make if there's any minor correction based on that little bit I just took off, I'll make a real minor correction and then double check it and make sure it runs. But that's, that's essentially it. So that's how you do the dynamic balance. Hope that was helpful and uh, I hope that made sense.